How do you find the rock star employee? Well, leadership is key, and it takes the right attitude, approach, and communication strategies to do it. Dan and Eric Coffin are known as the Gets It Guys and are international best-selling authors of the book, Who Gets It? Both join us now with more. Good morning, fellas. Morning. Good morning, Micah. Well, we appreciate your time this morning because we want to get people rolling back into the groove this morning. So first, how does someone become a Gets It person? Well, it gets a person as a problem solver at the core. They, they know how to get things done. And you find them really fast because you connect with them quickly. They gotta be resilient. They gotta be able to come back when, after a failure, come back and get back in the game. So what can an organization really do then to motivate employees and develop that strong culture? Well, motivating is really important, obviously. And, and one of the core parts of motivating is metrics. If you have a metric, and you have a gets it person, they love it because it means they're measured and they can show their value. And, and that's key. recognition is huge. You can recognize someone's talent, what they did right, and how they improve the culture of the organization they work for can be really powerful. And you guys have something uh, called the performance bell curve. Can you explain more about that? You mean right. <laughs> oh, perfect. Performance bell curve? <laughs> There's five zones that people go through in life. It's not just you're always in one zone, but in the five zones at the, the initial part of the bell curve to the left is doesn't get it. And the next zone is doesn't care. The center zone is comfort zone. And then the next one is energized. And then the final one to the right is gets it. And the most important thing about our bell curve is that there's movement up and down the curve. No one is in gets it all the time. It doesn't work that way you'll find yourself falling down the curve. And part of being a gets it person is recognizing where you are in the curve and how to get out. And as a good manager, how do you recognize the traits of people that are in the different zones? If someone's in doesn't care, get them out of there, recognize, motivate, delegate. Yeah, and if you're an energized, you're right at the level to get to gets it. Maybe you just need a little more training. You need a little more activity involved in the job that you do to get to that higher performance level. That's what's important. And if you're in comfort zone, you're just kind of hanging in there. You're just a nine to five. You're going to your job. You're doing, you're doing good work, but you're not doing great work. What our objective is to move people to high performance. And watch out for those people that don't care because they can pull that big part of your bell curve that's in the comfort zone. You can pull them to the left and back onto bad performance. And we want to make sure that we don't do that. I'm about to say when you're with your coworkers, it's almost like a family. So if something's impacting that family, you're pulled back a little bit and you just start developing different thoughts with it. But if you take that bell curve and reach to the right side and become that powerful leader, what are some of those most impactful or important traits of becoming that great leader? That's a great question. We like to combine authenticity and emotional intelligence, that empathy, that peace, that authentic leader, uh, that's, that's there, that's out there, that's in the process of working with the teams, that's a key person there. And empathy, understanding what your team's going through so that you can really walk a mile in their moccasins. We talk a lot about the open door policy and we love that because, oh, I have an open door policy, come in my office anytime. That open door is both ways, in and out. You gotta go out the door sometimes and go and engage with your team and find out how things are going, recognize where people are in the curve. And then when you have that development, how do you really build that culture within a company, especially when you have so many probably talking heads, when, depending on what, if it's a large organization or even small? Yeah, culture is really important. And culture begins with your core values. You create your core values of your organization. What do we want to be? But now you've got to follow that. If your policies are against that core value. If I say we're all about the customer, but then I have policies that have surcharges and little gotchas here and there, that's not gonna work. Now your staff is gonna be constantly battling with their community and that doesn't work. So we have a culture policy and logic diagram in our, in our findings and in our discovery that helps us define the companies that really get it. And what we get with uh, Morning Blend itself, we hear that actually 10 lucky viewers are gonna get a chance to get your book for free, right? Right, right on. No That's a good, that is a good deal. <laughs> I never got it for free. No, we had to work hard. That's why it's so special for our viewers out there. I hear it's the first 10 that go to your website and the contact page, right? Excellent. Yep. Sounds great. Getsitguys.com is our website. 
Perfect, and I love that you brothers are have worked together because sometimes it's hard to work with your brother, but it seems like you guys have a good working relationship to bring yeah, we these do. leadership we skills. Yeah, we do. You know, we have adventures that we do. You know, we, we go out and climb mountains and talk about career path. That We go to uh, move dirt with excavators and talk about training. So we're really, and, and our goals are the same. So we, we're able to operate together. And we know PowerPoints with our training. We do adventures. We do experiential. And why don't you join us for one of them? We're, yeah, we're going to do lots of new things this summer. I'll be down. I mean, you're here in Vegas. I know the other brother, you're here just visiting from New York City, but hey, why not? We could always have some good motivation to bring back to our skills to our company and it just promotes positivity. So we appreciate Absolutely. you guys for giving us more details about this this morning. Yeah, it's been great. We really enjoy it. And we love your show too. It's cool. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. We saw you eat that 12 egg omelet. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> oh, we, see, that was years ago. And now okay, <laughs> metabolism still, still isn't, as fast. Still metabolism isn't as fast as it used to be. That's for sure. Well, Las Vegas morning blend certainly gets it. <laughs> for sure. Well, we appreciate you guys taking the time out this morning and giving us more about it. Thank right you. On. Thank you. All right. Who gets it? How to find, motivate, and retain top talent is available now. For more information, just head to their website. It's getsitguys.com. And a reminder, if you go to their contact page and enter your info, you could win a free copy if you're one of the first 10.